What's up everybody, it's Laura, that RV girl, and today we're in a mid-bunk model by Jayco. This one features a mid-bunk room when you come right in off the entrance, a master bedroom up in the front cap, this beautiful rear living space, and so much more. Let's get to it. All right, let's start off in the heart of the RV, the living space, where you're gonna spend most of your time hanging out and relaxing when you're not outside enjoying the campfire. In this living space, you will find a tri-fold sofa to add additional sleeping, as well as theater seats. Now, these theater seats will have a pull cord, there we go to get maximum recline and then you'll also have additional storage just right in the arm here oh it's quite deep too and we've got our cup holders on either side this is a great spot for hanging out and watching tv as you're directly in front of your entertainment center moving over to your tri-fold sofa this one will not have recliners but it is still going to be nice and comfy cozy you can probably fit about two to three people on this couch but the best part is you can fold it down into a bed let's do that shall we simply begin by removing the cushions along the back and then we're going to pull up and out from the bottom make sure the legs come out and then we're just going to fold over that last piece from the back like so all right, up and out. <laughs> Pull these legs out so you've got some stability. Whoop. You do have a little bit of storage underneath, not a whole ton because remember this couch has to fit in, but you've got enough to at least stow away some pillows and blankets. And then last but not least, fold back that last piece. One, two, three, tri-fold sofa. All right, let's put her back. And fold in those legs. Whoop. And just like that, you're already back to lounging. And the best part about this spot is this huge rear window and the windows on either side. There we go. Now, of course, this is a huge window. You may not want all that light shining in, especially for the guest that has the pullout sofa for the night, but fear not. Wow, we've got a nice big blackout shade and the two sides also have their own blackout shades. And in prime position across from those theater seats, we've got your entertainment center. Starting with your TV on a swivel so you can accommodate your guests on the couch along the back. We've got some storage up above and of course, your electric fireplace down below. Now you will have a few settings on your fireplace, one of which is gonna control the color of the rocks and the flames. Honestly, I love that. I think it's the most fun thing ever. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the green. Did you see that? Oh yeah. Okay, so we've got all of those different colors to work with. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna rotate through the colors. Okay, and then you've also got your heat setting your heat setting. You've also got your heat setting on here as well. Now you've got your furnace already. You're gonna have a great amount of heat pumping through, but to make things nice and toasty and cozy, you are gonna get some heat off of this unit as well. Then we've got our JBL sound bar, and this is the beginning of your kitchen slide. So moving into the kitchen area, we've got this great size pantry. If you saw one of my first videos, don't make the mistake and turn the door handle. It's just on a magnet. All you gotta do is pull it open. So we've got removable shelves here. One, two, three, four, five in the bottom there. And it goes again, quite deep. So plenty of space here in the pantry area. 
There we go. And then moving into the kitchen, this is where we're gonna find our stove, oven, microwave, fridge, all that good stuff. I'm gonna get you closer for this one. All right, now that you're a little closer with me, you can see this beautiful four burner range with that industrial style look. We've got all our lit up knobs here, which just make it look that much more fancy. We've got our oven. I mean, holy moly, turkey dinner heaven in here for sure. Um, and then we've got our great size microwave up top. We've got these little cubbies in here, which are so perfect for your spices. And then we've got a nice window along the back as well. We've also got that really awesome little remote that's kind of set in all the main areas throughout the fifth wheel so that you can control your lights all from a press of the button, no matter where you are. Check it out. Oh, I'm just turning them all off. Bye. <laughs> Let's turn it back on. Okay. Perfect. So as you'll notice, we've got a drinking water faucet and then we've also got your standard faucet here, both done in those black fixtures. So classy. We've got deep stainless steel sinks. They are separated so you can wash and rinse all that good stuff. And then we've also got a charging station in the back here. So we've got two outlets, a USB and wireless charging on top. And not to be missed, of course, is all the storage that comes with an island. And it's not on a little rolly, but we've got just enough space for you to put your garbage discreetly away. Okay, now let's make our way over to my favorite part of every fifth wheel. That's the little coffee bar station. I don't know why, I just like it so much. So we've got this really neat faux wood style top here. We've got drawers all the way up and down, plus another cabinet. And remember, it's hardwood cabinet doors. Love that for us. Plus tons more storage. And above. Before we bake our way out of the kitchen, let's not gloss over this huge double door fridge. So we've got the fridge up top and one of my favorites as well is the drawer style freezers. You can fit so much more in them. I love it. And one more quick look at this beautiful island. We've also got tons of drawers all the way down this island as well. So all the space for barbecue utensils, silverware, towels, linens. You've got plenty of storage to work with in this kitchen. Okay, before we make our way upstairs, let's not gloss over the fantastic dining setup we have here. We've got this great little half booth, half freestanding chair, dinette setup, no posts underneath. So no matter whether you have little legs, long legs, big legs, small legs, this is a great table to accommodate all your guests and yourself comfortably. Now this table also has a leaf. It's that magic Jayco table that I always love to show y'all. It's also got a little bit of storage underneath. This is a great spot to put your games, cards, all that great stuff. But let me show you how the leaf comes out. We're simply going to pull up. Up and out like so. There you go. Now you've gained space for at least three more chairs to accommodate. And when you're ready to put her back, simply lift it up and slide her down. And remember how I talked about that little remote style light switch that was in the kitchen and it's kind of carried throughout all major spaces in the fifth wheel? Well, you've got one right here by the dinette. So, there we go. And you can even turn off all the exterior lights from here as well. Just little conveniences that are so nice to have when you don't feel like getting up to turn off a light. All right, moving on. It's my favorite time of the tour where I almost forget your controls, but I did it this time. So we've got our BM Pro controls again, right in off the main entrance. Let's get this guy fired up. Here we go. You can control all your lights, see your tank levels, pull your slides in, climate controls, leveling, all that good stuff. You've got individual jack control on here. Literally everything you need either here at the push of a button or directly on your phone. All right, now let's make our way into the mid bunk room. Boy, do I love a bright mid bunk room. Woo! 
so bright, but I love it because it doesn't feel like a cave, right? Look how nice and open this space is. Also, we've got a place here back for a TV. So you can set up your own little TV in here. Say you've got monitors even and make this your workspace. You've got enough of a cubby underneath for you to slide a chair so you can work comfortably. You're also right by the front door. So open up that door, throw the screen on it, and you'll be right by the action. We've got extra storage. Woo! below and above. Then over here, we've got our single bunk with the easy latch and the tri-fold sofa. So this is gonna act just like the one in the living space did. Pull these two cushions off, pull out your three pieces, and you've got sleeping for up to two people. We've got a 300 pound capacity on this single bunk up here. Got a window that we saw just on the other side behind me here to keep it nice and right up there. You've also got USB outlets just here on the right hand side to the sofa and you've got your cup holders. Let's bring this back down and there we go. Mighty fine mid bunk room. Okay now we're gonna make our way up into, wait for it, the loft. That's right we've got a loft up here. It's a double loft with a window. We've also got outlets and there's a duct coming off of the AC and lights we've got this railing detail right along the top here so it also doesn't feel boxed in everything is so bright no matter where you are you've also got those nice thick teddy bear bunk mattresses up there now moving our way into the main washroom making our way into the main washroom with walk-in stand-in shower plenty of room to mumbo while you wash it. We've got a skylight, plenty of space up here. We've got a nice electric fan. And then we've got this great kind of detailing along the back. Now they have recessed this shower floor pretty much all the way down. So you're really gaining all that height. I think you're pretty much almost flush directly with the floor. Those black fixtures that we love in the kitchen, well, they're carried in through the bathroom too. We've got our nice little shower head on a wand, and these are glass doors. Get your squeegee. And, let me guess, porcelain foot flush toilet. On this side of the washroom, you will find your Furion water heater system. So you can set all your temperatures here through your gauge. We've got our light switches to keep everything nice and bright. We've got an outlet, a little ring here for you to hang your towels. And then we've also got a medicine cabinet. Ooh, nice storage in there. And then we've got this really nice faux wood top here along the countertop. We've got a decent sized sink here that will definitely let you wash your hands with ease. And then more storage below. <laughs> Last but not least is the master bedroom. Starting off with this great set of drawers that goes all the way down. We've got some Whoa, I need some muscle. We've got some large size deep drawers along the back. Now you can see the width of this, so it's not too wide, but they are quite deep. And then we've got four little guys right up top. Right above that chest of drawers is your back area for your TV. And then we've got all of our connections up in the roof, so you can hide all those cords. Now your bed is in a slide. So you've got windows on either side here. And then what they've done is given you these little ledges here to put your devices, phones, a little cup of water. We've also got another one of those handy dandy little light remotes for us here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> my bad. This is my slide. That remote in here, actually you've got two. So you've got one behind the bed there that's just got all of your light functions to turn them off. And then this one here is gonna control your bed slide <laughs> and the lights as well. Ceiling and hall and entry <laughs> and slide. And you've got a security camera switch here as well. Then we come to the piece de resistance. I can't speak French, but what I can tell you is that we've got this huge closet all the way into this front cap we go all the way to the sides. Doo -doo. We've also got plumbing for our washer dryer. How great is that? So you got a dryer outlet on one side, washer outlets on the other. You've also got rods in here for hanging so you can hang horizontally along the side or we've got some that are just set right along this wall here. Plenty of storage. And then even though we've got this set of drawers and our TV right in front of the bed, they've still given you this nice big window 
let's go <laughs> with blackout roller shade in the front i mean look already how much that's brightened up the space and we've got tinted windows here so even with the tinted windows even with the window being a little off to the side plenty of light super bright i can get down with this master bedroom for sure all right what is a bedroom tour without checking underneath the bed <sighs> ta-da so remember how we've got the extension in the table? Well, you've got two more chairs here, and then we've also got a little carpeted area in the back. It is finished off. This is your plywood bed platform, nice and sturdy on the struts. All right, y'all. <laughs> That's all I've got for the bedroom. Let's make our way back into the living room. All right, that completes the tour of the Jayco Eagle 355 NBQS. As always, it's been a sliced pepperoni, of course. I will catch you all in the next one.